All right, guys, welcome back. This is Easy the Lancer on Feral Valley, and we're going to just keep on steamrolling through these in-depth in Lancer guides that I'm trying to put together for us. And our next skill we're talking about is Charging Lunge. Charging Lunge. Let's take a look at you, big guy. All right, Charging Lunge. All right, so we got an instant cast, 200 mana. It's going to be about a 10-second cooldown. Your base damage is 641 if you've got that all the way at level 60. And really, there's... it's it, Charging Lunge is going to be like your... Um, your bread and butter as far as in gap closing. And when I what I mean by gap closing, I know I've talked about um, Shield Barrage, which kind of closes your gap a little bit here. But this, I swear to you, is incredibly awesome. Boom. Right there. You probably get a good 10 meters, I think, with that. Um, what that does is it allows you to catch up with people. And the, I'm going to tell you, the most annoying people when you're PvPing is going to be those Sorks or those Priests or those Mystics when they do those teleports because I tell you, it is fuming. Now, one of the things as far as with this is if you do land it, it's going to be a three hit on them. Um, it's going to kind of give them like a little bit of a flinch. It's, it's actually really good um, if you do actually hit somebody with it. But a lot of times I end up using this uh, to kind of go from like, say, we got this dummy here and then that dummy over there. You know, I'll come up and I'll start hitting somebody like maybe a mob or something just to kind of get his attention and then go over here and then hit this guy. And what that'll do is bring the other guy to me so that way I can do multiple pulls. Now, one thing that you can do here, one thing to keep in mind as far as with your uh, with your lunge, like for instance here, this guy is roughly, let's see if it tells me, okay, he's about 10 meters. All right, so he's about 10 meters out. All right, stop, good. All right, let's see, let's back up. Let's go 20 meters, let's see how close it is. But there's actually a really cool trick you can do um, if you if you see that you're going to overpass the person or overpass the mob, you can actually stand fast in order to to stop at where you're at. So right here, right there, right on top of them. Now, let's. I'm going to kind of get up close. I'm going to kind of go up to the side here and try to stop next to the dummy here as soon as my cooldown comes off. But uh, basically, you're going to do this and then shield right there. And then you could turn. You could do whatever you want to do at this point. So remember that. You know, don't have to finish out your actual lunge in order to complete that action. You can actually interrupt it and, and then turn the camera angles and go into, like, a shield barrage if they're on your right or on your left. You know, you can really do some damage with this lunge. Now, one thing I, I don't think I've really talked about is, is with some of the other uh, skills that I've done so far is the actual chain skills. And what I do is I've actually, you'll notice, I've got a chain of menacing wave here. And what this does is, is I get to close the gap and go into that next skill immediately, and it lets me know that I need to get that Menacing Wave off. The Menacing Wave is not like a super duper skill. It's just something where if I'm doing PvP mode, I want to decrease somebody's movement speed. First, I do the close gap. If I'm close enough, go into that Menacing Wave, and that's going to slow them down to where they can't really do anything to attack me or get away, um, or if I want to get away additionally, too. That's another option as well. So um, that's what I prefer. There might be a, a you know, maybe you like to go into a shield barrage after you do that. That's that's perfectly fine but one of the really cool things again is just remember stop you know with your shield block um, if you're going too far um, now as far as with the actual glyphs on here I don't think I I think you know from a PvP standpoint I, I really think that this uh, energetic charging lunge is is a really cool one um, glyph points of four it's kind of high I would say but you get a 20% decrease um, in the skill so if you get a 20% decrease from 10 seconds you go from 10 to 8 so it's not really a huge benefit, but it can help you out. Um, we also have an increased attack power of 25% on your connections. But the thing is, I really don't find myself connecting a lot with people. I find myself more or less really um, using it to chase them down, um, and I don't get close enough to do that. Now, there is a speed movement of 10, for 10 for 7 seconds while in combat. You know, I'm, I'm, I haven't really tested this out honestly and I think that it is a beneficial it could be something that could be really cool to use um, but in a PvP build I've not gone through and actually done that I've been doing mostly my dungeon run so I haven't really had a huge chance to test this out to see how beneficial this is for me so anyways that's all the glyphs there and I think that covers everything I want to do as far as we're charging lunch if you guys have any questions leave them here on the YouTube channel or find me on the Terra forums and until next time you guys have a good weekend and happy hunting as always